See, that's a fumble. You know? And just so you know, the gun is clear. There's nothing in it. Magazine empty. Nothing's in it. It's all clear. <laughs> Hey you guys, I'm back again. Um, if you're planning on uh, concealed carrying, do some practicing with your draw. Do some practicing with your uh, mag change and different stuff like that. If that time ever arise, for one, it's going to be crazy because you'll get a whole bunch of adrenaline, adrenaline dump. You won't be able to think straight. So these things are better for your muscle memory. It'll be some stuff that you will have to do without even thinking about it. I'll show you the basic draw technique. Well, the one that I've learned there, there's uh, several different ones you can learn. This one has helped me on acquiring my sight picture better. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I'll also show you why you need practice because say you're in and you never shot your gun, you never practiced at the range, or you never even drew your gun from your holster or anything like that. And now you're in this situation where you're scared for your life, your adrenaline is pumping, your adrenaline is rushing, and you can't even think straight. That's That's the scenario. And so now what? So you start fumbling and you, 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 you fumbling trying to get to your gun and then when you do get it, you're all over the place with it. it. That's not a good idea. And just so you know, the gun is clear. There's nothing in it. Magazine empty. Nothing's in it. It's all clear. But anyway. Uh, for the first step is acquiring your side picture or helping you to acquire your side picture without slinging your gun up or whatever. I don't know if you carry three o'clock, four o'clock appendix here. I carry here. It's sort of appendix, but not right here. But anyway, you carry how you want. But the key to it is to come up and go straight out. And you always want to keep your finger off the trigger. So make that a habit. Even when you're drawing and when you're putting your firearm back in the holster. Because you're, what is it, femoral, femoral artery is down in this area. So it's in your legs, in your thighs. So if you shoot yourself, you're going to bleed out pretty much. But anyway, just... Remember to always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. So you want to raise that shirt, get a good purchase, come up and come out. And that's the best way to get your sight picture. And to be honest, before I knew that, I was always trying to figure out how to get right on without flailing around, not really flailing around, but trying to get it. But that's like the, it's like a natural, it's just natural. It's right there and it's right there. I mean, right there. So it's a natural thing and you just practice over time, you just get quicker. And you know what I mean? And you just practice, you have to practice. It has to become memo, it has to become muscle memory. And I'll show you from the side. It's basically here, up and straight up. And that sight is right. I mean, it just can't get no better. And with practice, it will get better, but it is, it's just automatic. It's just automatic. And always, always, when you're putting it back in, when you're reholstering, always keep that finger off that trigger. Because if you don't, if that finger is on that trigger, you jam that sucker and pop yourself in the leg, that's a wrap. 
But anyway, that's that. And you have to practice and practice your dry fire. See, that's a fumble. You don't want to do that in a bad situation. So you basically want to get used to doing that. Whatever clothes you wear, you got to learn how to move them. Learn how to get them out the way enough because if you get caught up in there somewhere, it's, it's a bad situation. So, and again, always up, out, up, get your grip and out, up, out. Even without your firearm, you can practice that. Up and out. And you can practice that. Up, out, back in. Up, out, back in. Up, out, back in. Up, out, pop, pop, look for threats, and back in. And that's that. But practice your draw. And also, get you some insurance. I've joined um, USCCA because, long story short, if that time happened or if you had to use your firearm on somebody, just know that you're going to jail. Now, it's going to depend on your lawyers to get you out and to get you past it. But it's a smart move to have insurance. And these are people or lawyers that know this particular law. It's not just, oh, I have one on retainer, or I have, you know, you have to have the right person for the job. And nobody's paying me to say these things. I'm just passing them on to you guys as I learn them, because I never knew you needed that type of insurance. I never knew that if I had to defend my life from somebody trying to kill me or my family, that I'm going to go to jail, you know, if, if if something happened like that. But you are. You're going to go to jail. Or you're going to at least be in the back of a police car for a while until they figure out what's going on. But nine times out of ten, you're going to go to jail. And you're going to need a lawyer. And as for right now, this is what I, I have. This is what I'm doing. Like I said, it's USCCA. You can look them up. You can do research on them. There's tons of videos on them. Tons of information out there. If it's somebody else, just as long as you have insurance, you're going to need it. If something happens. And we pray to God every day that it doesn't happen. That, at least I do. I don't want to have to shoot nobody. I don't want to kill nobody. But if it comes down to me saving my life or my wife or children or anybody that's around me that, that I'm close to, that I love, then I just hope God give me the uh, intestinal fortitude <laughs> or the guts to do what I need to do. But anyway, get insurance. Practice your dry fire. Practice your draw. And get good equipment. Right now, this little belly band thing is, is cheap. I don't plan on using it forever. But this is what I'm using right now. I plan on getting a better holster when I get a better concealed carry weapon. But um, like I said, get, get quality because... It really comes down to your life. 